Good morning, friends. This is uh, Distance Center International of uh, 7220 Rosedale Highway, Bakersfield, California. This is uh, our first service uh, on Sunday morning uh, through live stream. So our message this morning is we will defeat the enemy including coronavirus, coronavirus, okay? Uh, for our introduction, I would like to tell you that Jesus Christ has promised protection from us. He said in his word, uh, this, this, these things I have spoken to you, that you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. You know this, brethren, uh, in this life there are many tribulations. We are to face them. And the Bible says that they will come against us and attack against us. But God has promised that we will be, we will be overcome through Jesus Christ. Uh, he promised peace for us. And He promised victory. Be of good cheer according to Him. Now, there is victory in the name of Jesus. In the Old Testament, when God's people were, were, at, were attacked by their, their enemy, uh, the, the Bible says that He will protect them. Uh, I will fight against you, but they will not prevail against you. For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. You know, our enemies will come against us, but we have the promise that He will, or they will not prevail against us. The reason why they will not prevail against us, though they attack us, because Jesus Christ of God is with us. In Matthew 16, 18, the Lord Jesus Christ said, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. We know we are in this world, and we are to serve the Lord and do His will. And there are problems, there are attacks of the enemy. But Jesus said, I will build my church, and the gates of hell, the gates of Hades, shall not prevail against you. So, this morning, I want to encourage you that there is victory in the name of Jesus Christ. He has promised it to us. The enemy will not prevail against the church. Praise the Lord. And secondly, our enemy will be crushed. Our enemy will be crushed according to this Romans 16, 20. And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. There's a time in the history of the church that the church was, was uh, attacked by the enemy. They were persecuted. Severely, but God said the God of peace will cross Satan under your feet shortly. Meaning that when Paul wrote this, they were still under attack. They were still being harassed. They were still being persecuted. But God said uh, God of peace will cross Satan under your feet. It says this shortly. So that time that Paul was talking to them, was writing to them, they were still being persecuted. But the promise is Satan under your feet shortly. So brethren, let us rejoice that this morning we can we can have peace that God the God of the God of the Bible will cross Satan shortly. Amen. So, thirdly, we will, see, we will read this, we will finish our mission on earth. 
The reason why the rapture has not yet taken, because we have not accomplished, we have not finished our uh, our mission on earth. So after we have finished that mission on earth, the Lord will take us to heaven. The Lord will take us to Himself. In Matthew 24, 14, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. Then shall the end come. We will be witnessing to all nations and uh, give witness to the gospel. And then the end will come. So, right now, according to Joshua.net uh, project, there are still 4,000 4, people groups that do not have a church. And that means that the, 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 the gospel is still to be preached to them. They still uh, have to hear the word of God. And uh, it's, it's not yet finished. That's why we cannot expect rapture at any time this, this, during our time until we finish our, uh, our uh, mission on earth. So the, it says that, that, that but the gospel will be preached. We will have time to preach the gospel. And uh, as a witness, and then the end will come. So uh, my brethren, let us be encouraged that uh, we, can, we, will, we have this promise that uh, the gospel will be preached to all nations. The 4,000 people groups will be reached by the church when they rise up. And, and then, when it is already reached, the, the gospel uh, is received by them, then he will come uh, with the in the clouds of the air, and we will meet him in the clouds. Amen. The Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. We who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall always be with the Lord. Here we find that those who have already died in Christ, those who have Christ in their hearts and they already have died many, many uh, centuries ago from the day of Pentecost, they will rise first. They will rise first, and then we who are alive and remain, we are who are still alive during that time, will uh, will rise up together with them, and then we will meet the Lord in the air. That's called the rapture. So that is the the finishing of our our task. We we, we shall have finished that. That is in the word of God. That is true. That will come to pass. That we are going to reach out the people of the all the people of the world and then the end will come. So let us be encouraged that the Lord is going to help us to finish our our task, our mission on earth. So one one way or one thing that I say we are still here on earth. We cannot leave this earth because there are still so many people that need Christ that uh, do not have uh, church in their community. So, to conclude, I would like to say in this verse, be, thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. It is for us to give thanks. It's time to give thanks because we will have victory in Jesus Christ and uh, we people of God should not uh, be worried, should not feel heavy hearted but we will continue to trust the Lord and the Lord will deliver us from uh, this uh, in infectious coronavirus and uh, the Lord will give us victory and then we will uh, we'll be able to preach the gospel, we will be able to finish uh, our mission on earth and we will be able to plant each church, every church, in, a, in every community in the world. And then uh, Jesus Christ will come and get us home. So that is the message this morning. We do not need to be afraid. We do not need to be to feel burdened and heavy hearted. 
Let us continue to believe in God. Let us continue to rejoice in the Lord and the victory that Christ can give to us. Okay, let's pray. Father God, we thank you that during these times of seeming confusion where the churches are not allowed to be together, Lord God, during these times when people are uh, afraid, Lord God, and people panic, Lord, we can be assured of the victory of Jesus Christ. So we thank you, dear God, that and we declare that there is victory in Christ's name. Thank you, Lord. Amen.